It's off the table when it comes to avenging the brutal murders of more than 1,400 innocent Israelis on October the 7th. And our next guest says this is exactly the response Israel needs to fake out Hamas. U.S. Marine vet and former intel officer, Lieutenant Colonel John Myers joins us right now. John, good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you. Okay, so for over a week, um, the IDF was shaping the battlefield. Explain that and explain where we are now. Okay, so what they did over the last three weeks is basically the same as we would do in the Marine Corps, which is we call it shaping the battlefield. You're you're softening up the battlefield with artillery, with uh, aircraft launch munitions, with missiles, in in a hope to set the conditions for a ground invasion. And then in the early stages, what you'll see is what the IDF did, which is probing, running feints, or in civilian terms, be like fake outs to sort of gauge what the response is before they start rolling the troops in heavy. And I think what we're seeing right now is the initial stages of them starting to roll in the troops heavy after uh, shaping the battlefield for three weeks. Sure. And so this is kind of, they haven't called it the ground invasion, uh, but it sure looks like one. But something's different, and that is the fact, uh, Colonel, that apparently the IDF is saying that uh, the IDF is actually underground. Because once they took an area, there are tunnels, and they are now fighting the bad guys in the tunnels. Yeah, so this situation is, is a nightmare scenario. You know, from a Marine perspective, the worst kind of warfare is urban warfare, tunnel warfare, and fighting a force that uh, intertangles itself with the civilian population. And they're trying to do all three at the same time. So they're going into these tunnels. After they uh, secure an area, they'll, they'll go into the tunnels. They're using some unique technologies that, you know, people are calling a sponge bomb, which is basically a chemical reaction set off by an explosive charge that fills the tunnels with uh, a foam that hardens to concrete. It, technically, it's non-lethal. It's not designed to kill people, but it's designed to shut off those tunnels for anybody else to use them. Well, they had a plan, and they certainly are executing it. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel John Myers, sir, thank you very much for joining us today from Virginia. Thank you. All right. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to